you to be obedient mwambie karibu haya nimekwambia ukue mtu wa kutii mwambie karibu yeah haya kuna mtu amekusalimia nani hajasalimiwa na mtu basi simwambie wewe ni mtu wa baraka mwambie wewe ni mtu wa baraka mwambie ni mtu wa baraka amen pia yesu makofi amen And before I continue I want to take this opportunity to welcome each one of you. Kabla niendelee nataka kuchukua hii nafasi kuwakaribisha nyinyi wote. And I'm going to keep my time. Na nitaenda kuweka wakati wangu. And I want before I forget to welcome all the visitors. Na kabla nisahau nataka kukaribisha wageni wote. If you are a visitor please can you stand up. Kama wewe ni mgeni tungekuomba ukaweze kusimama visitors you are visiting for your first time ni wakati wako wa kwanza ama siku yako ya kwanza kufika hapa wageni mko wapi kuna mgeni ametutembelea siku ya leo any visitor tuko na wageni mgeni yote you mean today you don't have visitors na maanisha leo hatuna yeah. anaona tu hey, okay stand up my brother yeah, just stand up simama tu simama tu hapa, hapa. usiye unajua wengine wanaogopanga watambie wakuje hapa ah ah hatuta yeah. kuita hapa do you have anybody else kwa na mtu mwingine yote ambaye ni mgeni. Amen. Karibu sana we love. Ah, si mama. Ah, ah, si, ah, si mama. Wako. Msiogope wageni. Sisi hatuwezi kuwaita hapa mbele. Ah, ni kuwakaribisha maana nyinyi ni watu wa maana sana. Yes. Nyinyi ni watu wa nguvu. Mm. Salimia huyo mwanadada, salimia huyo ndugu. Tunawapenda sana. Nyinyi ni watu wa maana. Yes. Amen. Amen. We love you so much. May God Tuna bless you. sana Mungu awabariki sana. Karibuni na karibuni tena na next Sunday na wakati mwingine karibuni ukija ukae hapo hapo tu Bishop usema usibebe hiyo kiti lakini kuja ukikalie. Sawa sawa. Amen. Basi karibuni sana we love you na baada ya ibada wageni hapo nyuma kutakuwa na viti tawekwa hakikisha usiende nyumbani uende ukae hapo kuna mtu atakuja kuwahudumia kwa jina la Yesu tunawapenda sana God bless you. Mungu awabariki sana. Tunawapenda. Ah, I thank God because of another opportunity to na, minister the word of God. Nashukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya nafasi nyingine ya kunena neno lake. Who can remember what I talked last? The last time I ministered, you can remember what I talked about. Nani anaweza kumbuka lile neno ambalo nilihubiri wakati huo mwingine? Mhm. Mhm. Can somebody remember? Kuna mtu ambaye anaweza kumbuka? I know there are teachers here. Kina Najua kuna, kuna, kuna walimu hapa kina and, I, and I told you one day when I was a UT teacher and trained, not trained, and trained. Na siku moja wakati alikuwa mwalimu ambaye hajahitimu haja ama haja, haja trainiwa. Uh, we used to come and do revision. Tulikuwa tunakuja na tunafanya revision. But today I'm not going to do revision. Lakini leo hatutafanya revision. I'm just asking. Leo tunauliza tu. Can you remember what I said last? Unaweza kumbuka vile nilinena wakati huo mwingine? Can somebody shout the shout of the Holy Ghost and tell me what I spoke about? Kuna mtu ambaye anaweza shout tu atuambie nini tulisema ama tulihubiri wakati huo mwingine. Can somebody shout the shout of the Holy Ghost? Mtu tu ashangilie ama a shout tu kwa nguvu za Roho Mtakatifu tusikie. Again. The power of destiny. Kwani sauti yangu atabira mic inawashinda. Can somebody say the power of destiny? Mtu aseme nguvu za hatima. And today I want to speak another message entitled God of the 11th hour. Leo nataka kuongea ujumbe mwingine ambao ni wa Mungu wa uh, Lisala 11. Eh hey, ni sawa sawa tu. Okay. okay. Ile masaya mwisho mwisho. Ile masaya pale la la The God of the 11th hour. Mungu wa 11th hour. And I'm happy to be with my friend Jemo. You know I'm Pastor James you are James. So yeah. yes Pastor hey. James. I'm James. Sasa kazi kwako. Amen. Tuendelee. Hallelujah. Let's go to our Bible in the book of Isaiah chapter number 49 from verse 15 to 19. Tunye katika Biblia zetu katika Isaiah 49 49 15 to 19. 15 mpaka mstari wa 19. Yeah, are you there? Umefika hapo? Let me we shall go you will follow me verse after verse my okay. brother James Okay Can a woman forget her nursing child and not have compassion on the son of her womb Surely Surely they may forget yet I will not forget you Je mama aweza kumsahau mtoto aliyeko matitini mwake akinyonya 
wala asiwe na huruma juu ya mtoto aliyemzaa ingawa anaweza kusahau mimi sita kusahau wewe see i have inscribed you on the palms of my hands your walls are continually before me tazama nimekuchora kama muhuri katika vitanga vya mikono yangu kuta zako zi mbele yangu daima your sons shall make haste your destroyers and those who was who laid you waste shall go away from you wana wako wanaharakisha kurudi nao wao wale waliokuteka wanaondoka kwako lift up your eyes look around and see all these gather together and come to you as i live says the lord you shall surely clothe yourself with them all as an ornament and bind them on you as a bride does inua macho yako ukatazame pande zote wana wako wote wanakusanyika na kukujia kwa hakika kama vile ni nilish ni shivyo utawavaa wote kama mapambo na kujifunga nao kama bibi harusi asema bwana verse 19 for your waste and desolate places and the land of your destruction will even now be too small for the inhabitants and those who swallowed you up will be far away mstari wa 19 ingawa uliangamizwa na kufa na kufanywa na kufanywa ukiwa na nchi yako ikaharibiwa sasa nafasi itakuwa finyu kwa ajili ya watu wako nao wale walio kuangamiza watakuwa mbali sana amen that is the word of god hilo ndio neno la mungu and i want to speak about the god of the 11th hour na anataka kuongea kuhusu mungu wa 11th hour e ile 11th hour masaya mwisho mwisho e, masaya kule la la salama hallelujah hallelujah the god of the 11th Mungu wa ya masaya kule mwisho mwisho. And you know as we spoke we speak about the God of the 11th hour. Unajua tunapoongea kuhusu Mungu wa wakati wa kule mwisho. I am going to mention about six points. Nitaenda kuwajulisheni a point sita. What happens when your 11th hour come to ambayo, reality? Ambayo ufanyika wakati wako wa mwisho umekuja. Because I told you last time when I was here. Kwa sababu niliwaambia wakati wa mwingine nilikuwa hapa. As a minister of the word of God. Kama mtu ambaye ananena neno la Mungu. All of us have got different gifts. Sisi wote tuna uh, talents tofauti. We have been blessed in a different way. Na tumebarikiwa kwa njia tofauti. And of late there is something God has been putting in my heart. Na kuna kitu Mungu amekuwa akiniweka ndani ya moyo wangu. And especially this week when I was praying. Na sana sana hii wiki ambayo nimekuwa nikiomba. I was struggling. Nilimekuwa niki uh, nikistruggle. There is something I wanted to speak about when I was told I was to preach. Kuna kitu nilikuwa nataka kuongea kuhusu wakati niliambiwa mimi ndiye nitakaye hubiri. But in time I sleep. Lakini wakati wote nikienda kulala. God bring the same message. Mungu analeta tu ule ujumbe. Believe me or not. Niamini ama ukatae. I normally say this. Mimi husema hivi. I speak as a minor prophet. Mimi huongea kama anabii. But I told you one day. Lakini kama nilivyoambia siku moja. Don't despise the minor prophet. Usikaose au usikaose ku kudharau hao manabii wa dogo because they also wrote the bible kwa sababu hata hao pia waliandika a uh, biblia and there is something god spoke to me na kuna kitu mungu aliniongelesha hii wiki that this is a now ya kwamba hili haya ni masaa for people to encourage themselves in their god ya watu kujiitia nguvu katika mungu wao not our god si mungu wetu in your god katika mungu wako the god of heaven that you trust upon mungu wa mbinguni ambaye wewe huamini time of living as corporate christians is over Waka It is time for wa, you to know who you are wa, as an individual. Wakati wa kuishi ni kama yani ati ati washirika wa wakiwa wengi umeishi umeisha ni wakati wako wa kuweza kuishi na Mungu wako kivyako. Na ujijue wewe ni nane. Na ujijue wewe ni nane. Hallelujah. Amen. Because the battles we are fighting now. Kwa sababu zile vita ambavyo tunapigana sasa. We have individual battles. Tuna vile vita vya mtu mmoja kwa mmoja. My brother has got his own battles. Mimi nina vita zangu. I've got my own battles. Yeye pia ako na vita zake. If I depend on him to fight for me tumaniwaya nipiganie i might end up failing ninaweza tu kuangamia but if i can fight my battles lakini nikipigana vita vyangu as an individual nikiwa mimi peke yangu for i know who i am kwa sababu ninajua mimi ni nani trust in the god of heaven wa mimi mungu aliye bingwa even when others are getting and living god Ata i shall not leave god hata watu wanaita mimi mimi sitamwacha kwa sababu namuamini but if you believe together mnasema nilo wokovu wa jumla yeah naitangu wa jumla mm, mm. 
it is very dangerous ni vibaya sana ama ni hatari sana and therefore god gave me this message to come God gave me a message to come and encourage somebody. Because the ministry God is giving me in my heart. Kwa sababu aina ministry Mungu anampatia ndani ya moyo wangu. Bring somebody in the kingdom and to encourage him to live for God no matter what he or she is going through. Nikutia mtu nguvu ya kwamba akaweza kuishi ndani ya Mungu ahijalishi yale mambo ambayo anapitia. Because situations can change but God cannot change. Kwa sababu mengine yanaweza abadilika lakini Mungu wetu hawezi akabadilika. Seasons can change but God cannot change yakati zinaweza badilika lakini Mungu hawezi kubadilika even you, you can change hata wewe mwenyewe unabadilika lakini Mungu hawezi badilika can you tell your neighbor god cannot change ambia rafiki yako Mungu hawezi badilika that's why the bible says hiyo ndio maana biblia inasema that our lord is the same yesterday kama Mungu wetu yeye ndiye jana leo na hata milele because he's unchangeable kwa sababu yeye hawezi badilika if you believe in unchanging god kama unaamini ndani ya huyu Mungu ambaye hawezi badilika means he can change situation inabadilika yeye inamaanisha yeye anaweza badilisha mambo but he cannot change lakini haezi akabadilika circumstances can be changed by god mambo yanaweza badilishwa na mungu but god cannot change lakini mungu mwenyewe haezi badilika ah, where should we go my brother nafaa kwenda wapi if it is not unto this god ah, kama sio kwa huyu mungu who cannot change ambaye haezi badilika come on am i speaking to somebody naongea na mtu if we cannot stay with this god of heaven kama hatuwezi kana huyu Mungu wetu wa mbinguni where shall we go tunaweza enda wapi you run to which doctors unaenda kwa waganga to give they are there leo wako tomorrow they are there kesho hawa wamekufa you go to buda unaenda kwa buda he was there alikuwa he passed away lakini akatoka even the other man hivi hata huyo mtu mwingine was there ambaye alikuwa but is no longer there today lakini hayuko leo but jesus was lakini yesu alikuwa he shall be hata atakuwa today leo tomorrow kesho mtondo hata mtondo Jesus will never change. Yesu hawezi badilika. Where shall you go? Utaenda wapi? It is better to remain with this God. Ni jambo la busara kukaa ndani ya huyu. And I normally tell people. Na mimi huambia wherever I go. Na kwamba mahali popote mimi niwaenda. No excuse to leave this God. Haufai hauna sababu yoyote kuacha huyu Mungu. There is no excuse you can give me. Kuna sababu yoyote ya kuacha this God. Kuacha huyu Mungu. Because I have seen people who love one another. Sasa unaona watu wanapendana sana. And they end up divorcing. Alafu wanaachana. Eh? Eh. But our God cannot divorce. Lakini Mungu wetu hawezi kukuacha. Oh hallelujah hallelujah Can a woman forget her suffering child Mama anaweza sahau mtoto mwenye ako katika matiti ya kinyonya Can you imagine that Hebu fikiria hilo I'm doing an introduction Can a woman forget her suffering child Mwanamke anaweza sahau mtoto ambaye ananyonya The one you've carried for nine months ule ambaye umebeba katika tumbo lako kwa miezi tisa and after that you forget her na baada ya hiyo ukaweza kumsahau the bible says yes biblia inasema ndio that's why we see some people throwing away their children maana unaona mpaka watu wengine wanatupa watoto so, wao that woman can forget huyo mama anaweza tupaa sahau mtoto wake this is wa. what god is saying lakini mungu anasema i the god of heaven mimi mungu wa mbinguni i jehovah god mimi jehovah mungu i cannot forget Nisi you huwezi nikakusahau it doesn't matter where you are it doesn't matter what you go through. Kama hizi alishi na kwa ni cannot That's why the Bible says hivyo ndio ndivyo maana ya Bible says your name in the palm of his hands ya kwamba ameandika jina lako kwa viganja vya vidole vyake eh viganja vya mikono viganja vya mikono yake can somebody do like this hebu mtu afanye hivi fanya tu namna hii sikwambii nisalimie wewe na kwambie ufanye namna hii na si yule jamaa wa restaurant anafanyia anga watu hivi you know there is a guy anapendaka kukuja kukudharau na kufanya hivi ati huoni yanakuja na gonga wewe Mungu wetu amekuandika hapa mbele. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can somebody do prophetically like this? Hebu mtu afanye hivi kwa unabii. God has written your name in the palm of his hand. Mungu amekuandika katika ana jina lako kwenye viganja vya mkono wake. And the Bible says. Na Biblia inasema. Our God does not sleep. Ya kwamba Mungu wetu huwa halali. He does not sleep. Na hata huwa asinzi. Every time. Wakati wote he is seeing you. Anakuangalia. No matter where you are. Haijalishi uko wapi. Even when you are crying and saying. Hata wakati una kwa lia na kusema all along it seems no potential is after me ni kama hakuna mtu yote ananijali god still say eh? bado anakuambia i can see you kuona vizuri hallelujah hallelujah you have prayed and unprayed na umeo, umeomba yeah. na kuka, 
maombi kaisha unaoma maombi yote ya kaisha you have fasted and unfasted na una fast mpaka umemaliza but your name lakini jina lako is in the palm of god katika vya oh, hallelujah. hallelujah hallelujah no matter how much time you have fasted hajaishi umefast muda mrefu and instead of things becoming better badala ya mambo yakuwa mazuri things are becoming worse mambo yanakuwa mabaya i'm here to encourage you kwa hapa kukutia nguvu don't give up ya kwamba usiweze kunyonywa endelea tap your neighbor and tell him continue shika jirani yako mwana endelea even if nothing seems to be happening hata ingawa mambo inaonekana kile cha kwanza kinafanyika continue endelea so you are written ah kwa sababu umeandikwa you are written umeandikwa you are written umeandikwa in the palm kwenye viganja the hand of god kwenye mikono ya mungu every time god is seeing you wakati wote mungu anakuona i'm here for today na kwa hivyo siku hii ya leo speak about the god of the level hata nipongea kwenye mungu katika mungu huyu ambaye ni wa masaya mungu it is a god who is coming ni mungu ambaye anakuona when you least expect yeye hukuja wakati ambao haumgojei haleluya amen anakuja wakati utaraji anakuja wakati wewe ambao haumtaraji that's why another singer kaimba akasema 11th hour ndio wakati wake Mungu kwa Kiebrania mm. 11th hour ndio Mungu anakutembelea yes. let me tell you something hata nikwambie kitu before your 11th hour come wa, wa kabla wakati wako wa 11th hour ufike don't expect things to be okay usiategemee ama usiusiache usikufikirie usi, 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 tu mambo yatakuwa I, I sometimes back niliambia mtu siku moja that remember one thing ya kwamba kumbuka jambo moja it is so dark nilikumaliza sana before dawn in the morning kabla asubuhi ngware ifike hey, ifike ngware ifike. thank you brother that's a new term yes. kabla ngware ifike ngware mako <laughs> naja kutafsiriwa na dotcom sasa ni maajabu <laughs> yeah. hey, amen patia high five unajua mimi napenda kukufurahi brother ukiweka point na kupatia okay kabla ngwale ifike eh kabla ile masaa ya asubuhi kabisa ifike it is always very dark inakuwa giza sana but being dark does not mean the sun will not rise lakini kuwa na hiyo giza haimaanisha hata kwamba jua halitachomoa somebody listening unto me mtu ananisikiza being dark ha? kuwa na giza doesn't mean the sun will not rise inaanisha kwamba jua halita chomoza therefore when you see me in the moment of darkness niona katika giza don't throw me away usikaweza kunitupa don't put me aside usikaniweze kunena kando hapana don't despise me usikaweze kunidharau because i'm in the moment of darkness niko katika wakati wa giza my 11th hour will come masaa yangu yanafika and the sun shall shine again na hiyo jua mimi bado nitashine tena because i not remain there forever kwa usitaishi hapo milele i told some people somewhere niambia watu mahali there is no putting who has been made on problems hakuna mtu ambaye amepigiliwa ame mishumali kwa shida eh, wrong hapa brother mmm amepigiliwa mishumali hapa ndio mtafsiri mm. anafanyanga kama mhubiri yeah. no but has been dealt on that problem hakuna mtu ambaye ameweza kupigiliwa mishumali kwa hiyo shida haleluya haleluya and even you have been made to bear na hata kama umeweka unaweza kupigiliwa hapa we have spiritual hammers tuko na nyumba zile za kiroho inang'oana na kung'oa inang'oa even if you have been made to bear hata kama umepigiliwa na mishumali and the one who laid the you there is dead ah yule ambaye alikuweka hapa amekufa telling you na kuambia pindoza in the spiritual realm pindoza and we shall with the spiritual hammer na na roho we gonna pluck you out of that place tukutoe katika hiyo ambayo umeweza kufua aku because when the living thou are comes sababu wa masaya na no matter what is standing between you and your miracle it must be that the living thou is a now of god ni masaya mungu 11 hour is an hour of god masaya 11 hour ni masaya mimi even if you try to stand before somebody who was centered in the 11 hour take care atapita na wewe hata ukifikiria utakaa utakaa katikati ya mtu ambaye amefikisha 11 hour kichunge sana anaweza pita na wewe tuka atapita na wewe tuka anaweza pita na wewe because people who have reached the 11 hour au watu ambao wamefika 11 hour people who have come out of problems watu ambao wametoka kwenye shida umeshaona jamaa wakati ameshinda mimi na wangu wakati kiambo yamefiatua mbio 1300 na mimi wanape I like it. yes endelea brother I like watching this guy kemboi mimi ninapenda kuangalia huyu kemboi <laughs> forgive me for this It's but I like the way he dance lakini mimi nipenda vile yeye dance ukiona immediately after winning 
kuna kawimbo kuna kawimbo na imana ana katika anacheza ana katika it is because ni kwa sababu it is struggle baada ya kushindana baada ya kushindana kukamo kuna kushinda this is what will happen hii ndio ambayo itakafanyika after our 11th hour come baada ya 11th hour yetu imefika those who had given us men wale wanapatia majina this time wakati huu walio kudharau watakusalimia kwa heshima maana saa yako ikifika wapendwa wasipende lazima wakuja na waseme mheshimiwa how are you yes that is the 11th hour hiyo ni masaa ya 11th hour because my current situation does not determine my tomorrow sababu hali yangu ya leo haimaanishi vile nitakuwa kesho my brother You will you right now you not be like that next year. Ya vile niko leo sitakuwa hivi mwaka ujao. In any case I was slender than you. Eh hata alikuwa mdogo kunishinda. Nilikuwa kilo 49. But the moment my raven thawa ya kupata mtu lipofika. Lakini wakati ile performed miracle I shoot from 49 to 70. Eh na mimi nitatoka ah amen. Do you know one thing let me surprise you. Mm. I remember that I must tell my wife one thing. I wish she was here today. Kwa naambia bibi yangu kitu moja. She can remember I used to eat ugali. Nilikuwa nakula ugali. Unajua ugali? Ugali unajua. Si ile ugali mnajua. Unajua ugali? Mhm. Na samaki. And some other thing. My brother I could eat a very big mlima of ugali. Ningekula mlima kubwa sana ya ugali. Lakini hakuna kitu kilo. Siku anaongeza wiki. Hmm? I tried to take milk I was in the Murusikland of my friend ya music ama na jaribu kama hiyo sapene kitu inafanyika brother you tell you lakini acha ni kwa mimi that time came wakati huo wakati ulifika hata upako imezidi hata na mtu nimeingia You know sometimes I enjoy myself even if you are not enjoying. Unajua mimi huwa najienjoy yeah. wakati mwingine hata kama wewe haujienjoy. Na ndio mhubiri moja alisema siku hizi kama ni mhubiri ujichoche brother. Na ndio. <laughs> Unajicho? Ambia mwanzangu kujichocha. Chocha. Maana hata katika injili hutapendwa na wote. Yes. Si ni ukweli? Yes. Sasa ukifuata watu si utakusha. Mm. Jitia moyo katika Bwana. Hey. Ah na ujichoche yes. i know who i am najua mimi ni nani when my living hour has come wakati masaa yangu yamefika even if you try to stop me hata kama unaweza i will break forth mimi bado nitavunja i told you there is a hope in a tree nimekwambia kwa sababu you just been cut it down hata kama it is gonna sprout again hata kumea tena because the living hour wakati wake you have some mountain haiangalii mimi hapa safari haiangalii hata mabonde haiangalii you just got an anointing to shoot you ya kuweza kuenda vuru that is the power of the 11th hour ndio nguvu ya wakati wa 11th hour let me tell you i mitambia. remember one day nakumbuka siku moja i used to work for those who know my career i used to work in a milk industry nilikuwa nafanya kazi kwa industry ya maziwa and i used to take a lot of milk nilikuwa nakunywa maziwa sana let me tell you lakini acha nikwambie you never increase weight na singeongeza 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 wale walioniona wakati wao na wakiniona size wanasemanga this is a picture of the person we knew hmm. wale ambao walikuwa yeah. wanaona wanasema hii ni picha ya wale listen man to me when the living thou are coming your life watu wakati wako umefika katika maisha yako you they cannot understand you huku kuangalia hawakuelewi they try to picture you they cannot understand you kuangalia lakini hawakuwezi kuelewa wana piga piga kitu wanasema tulikutana na wewe wapi they cannot understand you hawezi kuelewa come on the living thou are comes to the power to transform and change your life wakati ukifika huwa unakuja ukiwa na nguvu ya kubadilisha mtu when my living thou are came and i got somebody The Bible says my brother when the 11th hour came asante kwa wakati, wakati wakati wa 11th hour ulifika and God bless me with somebody na Mungu akanibariki na mtu and I, I God I know he bless with somebody my brother be it from the Lord and with the love hiyo ni yetu na yeye sio yenyu when God remembered me wakati Mungu alinikumbuka miraculously kwa miujiza unajipatanga tu unaongeza mm-hmm. without notice hata bila kujua can i, I have a testimony for many of you who are married here you get something that hotoka kama mtu yote ambaye amewa hapa something happens without you yani ufanyika hata bila kulazimisha hapana hujifoze you get something small unapata mm, tu because it has an anointing of the 11 power iko na anointing ya 11 power it's gonna magnify itself kuongeza inajiongeza and you change it na unabadilika this is what will happen today hii ndio ambayo itakayofanyika leo when you are in your dark moment wakati ambao uko kwenye giza and people see you in your problem na watu wanakuona katika shida zako they cannot understand you better hawawezi kukuelewa vizuri but wait 
Lakini ngoja. Wait. Ngoja. When that season come to an, to an end. Wakati hiyo season Wakati wako wa 11 dawa kifika. My God. Oh Mungu wangu. I want to tell you. Nataka kukwambia. When the power of the 11 dawa. Wakati nguvu za 11 dawa. It's working in the life of a woman. Nafanya kazi katika maisha ya mwanamke. It's working in the life of a woman. Kazi ya mwanamke. I want to tell you one thing. Nakwambia kitu moja. Those who have, who have got experience at at uh, stopping people wale ambao wako na experience ya kuzuia watu watajaribu <laughs> watajaribu sana lakini haitawezekana hawataweza maana the power of the eleven dawa kwa sababu nguvu za ile dawa the power inakuja na nguvu of destroying eh? maliza if you are not no pushing kila kitu ambao inakuzuia is not me my brother and my sister kizi ya dugu na dada some people have put you off watu wengine wamekuweka wamekuweka mbali and when they see you wakati wanakuona they see you na academically you are not qualified for that hata hata academically wewe hau au qualified kwa hiyo mambo haya Wacha ni kuambie strong in the Lord. Kuwa na nguvu ndani ya Yesu na wakamba. Wakati wakati wako utafika waliokuwa juu wale ambao walikuwa watakuwa na umeruka juu yao. Amen. Because they live in power. Sababu wakati wa mwenye the power on the power of promotion. Kuna na nguvu ya kukuinua. And I believe that's what the Bible says. Ndio maana Biblia inasema the last shall be the first and the first shall be last. Mwisho watakuwa kwanza na wakwanza watakuwa wa mwisho. If you don't take care kama haujiangalia vizuri point number 1 point number 1 the power of the 11th hour nguvu za 11th hour changes your disappointment into divine appointment inabadilisha a kuvunjika kuvunjika moyo kwako inapata ile appointment unasema tu ataelewa unakuwa tu una, inakuwa ni kama appointment sasa andika chini mark chapter 9 verse 14 to 29 mark 9 mark 9 mariko 9 mariko 9 verses 14 to 29 we are not going to read mstari wa 14 Mark chapter 9 verse 14 to 29. Mariko 9 mstari wa 14 mpaka 20. Let us point number 1. When your point number 1. When the power of uh, the 11th hour is working. Wakati nguvu za 11th hour zinafanya kazi. God changes your disappointment. Mungu anabadilisha kuvunjika kwako kwa moyo. Into divine appointment. Na unaweza kuwa na appointment ya ki Yeah, ya kitaua. Ya kitaua. This is a story about a father and a child who was born mute. Somebody who dump dump. Hii ni historia ya mtu ambaye alikuwa ana ya baba na mtoto ambaye alikuwa amezaliwa bila kuongea. And I remember the father took this child to the disciples. Baba akachukua huyo mtoto akampelekea wa disciples wa Yesu. And this man was so disappointed. Na huyo mtu akawa amevunjika moyo sana. And because of disappointment, kwa sababu ya kuvunjika moyo, they started dagging with the disciples. Wakaanza wakaanza kujibiza na na disciples can i tell you a point acha nikwambie kitu you know disappointments acha nikwambie kuvunjika moyo if you are not careful kama wewe hauko hauko mwangalifu you start calling heavy with everybody utaanza ku 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 na kukolide na kila mtu unaanza kugombana na kila mtu yes you are so disappointed ah kwa sababu ya kwamba umevunjika moyo sana you tried this unajaribu hivi it failed inakataa you tried this one unajaribu nyingine nothing seems to be happening ni kama hakuna kitu kinafanyika until you say then paka unasema kana nimerongwa eh, and you nimerongwa. try and that's why listen unto me na uh, nisikize vizuri and i normally tell the church like this let me talk slowly now na mimi huambia kanisa hivi acha niongee pole pole if you go to a preacher ukienda kwa mhubiri and every time when you come with the problems na kila wakati unakuja na shida anakuambia ulirongwa ulilaaniwa ulifanywa nini mm-hmm. there is nothing positive they are giving you na hakuna kitu ambacho ni cha uh, kitu, kitu uh, positive anakuambia they are just adding more Adding on your life. Anaendelea kukuongezea tu mizigo katika maisha yako. Run very fast. Potea haraka sana. Okay, haujaelewa. Sawa sawa. Mm-hmm. I say run. Nimesema very fast. Kimbia haraka sana. Umeelewa? I say run very nimesema kimbia sana. Because of one thing, kwa sababu ya jambo moja. If I believe in the God who is able to change situation. Kama mimi naamini ndani ya Mungu ambaye anaweza kubadilisha hali. No matter how long it takes. Haijalishi itachukua muda gani. I still say one thing. Mimi nitasema tu jambo moja. Just like the way the three young men confessed and said. Kama vile watu watatu walivyosema. If God will save us, kama Mungu atatuokoa, it is okay. Ni sawa. But even if he doesn't save us, kama hata tuokoa pia, we are ready to die here. Ah, sisi tuko tayari kufa hapa. But now, lakini sasa People go somewhere. Watu wanaenda mahali. You tell him pastor. Unaambia mchugaji, pray for me. Niombe. Things are so bad. Mambo ni mabaya. And because I want to to get something from you. Na kwa sababu nataka kupata kitu kutoka kwako. I tell you mimi naona wewe. Nakwambia nimeona hapo hmm? kwenu. Mm. Yeah? With that uh, pro, in his prophetic kama spiritual. Hapo kwenu nikiangalia vizuri. Ah uh, uh, hapo kwenu nikiangalia tu. Hiyo hmm? miti imepanda hapo kwenu karibu hapo na hiyo nyumba. 
Hapo ndiyo unaona kuna pepo iliwe kwa hapo. Enda chimba karibu na hiyo ndizi. Hapo unakuja jamaa amengoa mandizi shamba mzima. Akitafuta pepo kwa shamba, sikiliza pepo haziko kwa shamba, pepo ni roho. Inahitaji roho kutoa roho. Haleluya. Amen. Am I speaking to somebody? Naongea na mtu. Ama sasa sijakuwa pasta mimi nimekuwa mwingine. <laughs> Is it to me? It takes a spirit to overcome another spirit. Chukua roho kushinda roho mwingine. Are we together? Tuko pamoja. Take that point. Chukua hiyo point. If somebody used the spiritual powers to oppress you, kama mtu alitumia nguvu za roho kukuweza kukuweka chini, you need to focus and look for the spirit of God. Lazima ukakamba spirit. Ukaangalia roho wa Mungu ili ukaweze kushinda yale maroho. If somebody used a word, kama mtu alitumia neno, to oppress you, uweze kukuangamiza, take the word of God. Sasa chukua neno la Mungu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If somebody used some strength to bind you, kama mtu alitumia nguvu kadhaa kukuweza kukufunga, you strength to unbind yourself. Hata wewe tumia nguvu kujifungua. Mnaelewa na maana nini mm-hmm. saa hizi nikakamata my brother James yes ni mfunge na kamba hapa kabisa mm-hmm. acha nikufunge brother lakini sikufungi kiroho nikikamata hivi ninataka kumtoa hapa atafanya namna gani si lazima ngingani singingane bwana ujitoe hapo ena mna amejitoa anahitaji maombi hapo haitaji maombi lakini if i use a word kama nikitumia neno to cast and bind this brother kuweza kulaani mtu na kufunga if i was using demonic powers na kama nimetumia nguvu za kishetani he'll go back to the power of god lazima uende kwenye nguvu za Mungu and speak the word na uende uongee neno and give us what was spoken upon his life na zile maneno ambazo zilione azinenea katika maisha yake listen to me ladies and gentlemen nisikizeni hapa chini kwa mnatishwa na watu wakati wa kutisha umekwisha our eleventh hour has come we know the truth wakati wa watu wa kutisha umeisha sasa 11 yetu imefika tunajua ukweli and the 11th hour is an hour of visitation the 11th hour ni wakati wa kutembelewa na Mungu you know the truth unajua ukweli use the truth tumia ukweli set yourself free ukaanza kujiweka huko in the name of Jesus katika jina la Yesu Christ let them speak their word wacha waongee mambo yao let them whatever they want wacha waseme vile wanataka if you know yourself lakini kama unanijijua vipi if you know you are God kama unajua Mungu wako the Bible says Biblia inasema them that know they are God na wale ambao wanajua Mungu wao be strong watakuwa na nguvu them that know they are wale ambao wanajua nani hebu tuelewane vizuri wanaomjua Mungu wa Mungu wao mm. wachana na Mungu wao yes. jua Mungu wako yes and that's why me I'm an, an, I'm an enemy of people who go to witch doctors those people who go to my Jesus brother me I'm an enemy of those and people and mimi ni adui wao watu huenda kwa waganga wale watu huenda mm. consult mambo kama hayo mimi ni adui wao kwani ni nini umekosa kwa Mungu unakimbia kwa mganga unachapua vibuyu tangu asubuhi mpaka jioni na mganga mwenyewe ukimwangalia amechapa Kwani hata wewe usitumie akili uone. Jamaa amechapa na nakwambia cha takutajiliza. Chajitajilishe kwanza. Yeah. Si ni ukweli? Ukweli. Tuelezane ukweli bwana. Mm. Eh. Hey. Mm. Tusitanganywe. Mm. Have you ever seen any magician who which doctor who is clean? Umeona mganga ambaye ni msafi. When you watch on the movies the audience very funny. Wakati mimi huangalia wanakaa watu funny sana eh. I don't want to say hallelujah for that. <laughs> Look so funny. Hallelujah. Wanaangali wanakaa funny. And you as a Christian, you know the word, you live God, you mix yourself, unaenda pale usiku, unachapua vibuyu, asubuhi unakuja unasimama hapa tunainua mikono juu, tunasema hallelujah. Na ulilala kwa vibuyu. Shindwe in Jesus name. Shindwe. Time is up. Wakati hallelujah. Wakati. Amen. If your love and love has come. Wakati wako umefika. You know the truth. Unafaa kujua ukweli. And the truth will set you. Na ndio utakuweka huru. You don't need to go to those people. Unafaa kwenda kwa hawa watu. Five harvest international church. Five harvest international center. Never be a go to those people. Tende kwa hawa watu. Tell them. Waambie. I have a God who is alive. Mimi nina Mungu aliye hai. Their God is dead. Mungu wao amekufa. Their powers are human powers. Mungu zao ni nguvu za akili. Powers. Na zina ni nguvu za shetani. And the Bible says. The devil has been cast. Ya kwamba shetani amelaani 
Bible says, the Bible says la Bible inasema, every knee shall bow down. Every knee. The Bible does not exclude anybody. It does not exclude even the devil himself. Are we together? It does not exclude even the devil and the witch doctors. Even the witch doctors will bow down. Watakili Yesu ni bwana. Hallelujah. Amen. Wote watapiga magoti. Even the devil my brother. Hata shetani mwenyewe. He will confess Jesus is Lord. Atakilia kwamba Yesu ni bwana. If the devil will confess. Kama shetani atakili. The witch doctors will confess. Kama waganga watakili. What shall you say? Sasa wewe utasema nini? Ah. 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 for this God. Ni vizuri tuishi kwenye huyu Mungu. Waachana na wao. Waachana na. You know you are God. Unajua Mungu wako. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bila Yesu makofi. Amen. Hmm. This is a God we need. Huyu ni Mungu ambaye tunahitaji. It doesn't matter the disappointment you can go through. Haijarishi kuvunjika moyo ambao unaweza pitia. Those disappointments are temporary. Kuvunjika moyo kuna ni kuni kwa kuisha ni kwa. Oh, I know there are somebody here. Najua kuna watu hapa. At one time when you were so disappointed you felt like you want to give up. Siku moja ulikuwa umekufa moyo sana mpaka unaona kama unaweza unaweza give up. I was there's this pastor who came to teach us sometimes back. Eh? Kuna huyu mtu alikuja akatufunza siku moja. And he told us na akatuambia There is a time he was so poor. Kuna wakati alikuwa masikini sana. For those who can remember when you were in the small tent. Mkikumbuka wakati tulikuwa kwa the small tent tu. Eh hey, wanaume. Amen. Amen. Akasema acha nitumie kisaya akasema mm. alikuwa anatembea. Paka akiona kikohozi anaona kama ni shilingi ya okote. Because of poverty. Kwa sababu ya umaskini. Total disappointment kuvunjika moyo but a time came lakini wakati ukaja I thank God for the testimony we gave na nashukuru Mungu kwa hiyo kuja aliyotoa I can use I can quote it boldly na mimi na naweza akuinakiri But when he went and ministered ya kwamba and God bless him He is no longer the way he is ya kwamba kama Mungu alimbariki sio vile alikuwa sasa Listen to me your, your current disappointment sikize akuvunjika moyo wako kwa kaizi it doesn't mean you'll be disappointed forever haimaanisha kwamba utaishi kuwa umevunjika you are in a period of darkness uko kwenye wakati wa giza and the bible says na biblia inasema weeping may endure for a night ya kwamba kilio kinaweza kuja usiku but joy comes in the morning furaha huja asubuhi morning is 11th hour wakati wako 11th hour you be so disappointed. Unaweza kuwa kwamba umeweza kuvunjika moyo. Even as you are walking around, hata unapotembea tu, when you see much boxes, wakati unaona hata viberiti na wewe hmm? na makaratasi, na karatasi, yeah. unatandika ukitafuta pesa ndani. Mm-hmm. Kwa sababu uko so disappointed. Yeah. Don't be deceived by anybody to come out to get out of the Lord. Usidanganywe kwa kwamba ukaweza kutafuta ya disappointed to day. Ya kwamba umevunjika moyo leo. Lakini kesho you have a divine appointment. Unakuwa na appointment ya oh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today you are borrowing. Leo unakuwa tomorrow ni kesho blending somebody. Utaweza kupeana mtu mwingine ama kukopesha mtu. Somebody give me a testimony. Mungu akani mtu mmoja akanipatia ushuhuda. And I've experienced this sometimes back. Na pia mimi nimejionea hivyo wakati mwingine. Yaani nani kuna watu wameshaishiwa hapa kuishiwa Umesaishiwa. Acha nitumie neno ya mtu. Umesaishiwa kabisa. You naishiwa kabisa. Mm. Until you don't know what to do next. Let But, me give you a personal testimony. Um, Acha nikaweza kupatia ushuhuda moja kwa moja. I remember one day. day. Kuna siku moja. I even did tell my wife because I was somewhere. I had gone somewhere. Hata sikuambia bibi yangu. I need a shot. Unajua ile msoto inaitwa msoto. Mhm. Nikashindwa what am I going to do? Mm. Believe it or not it happened to me because I know myself. And I'm telling you the truth. Mimi ilinifanyikia mimi. I went to my ATM. Nikaenda kwa ATM. I nikaweka my ATM card in the machine, bro. Nikaweka ATM card yangu kwa machine. I saw it had negative 156. <laughs> Nikaona ilikuwa kumi nilikuwa nimekata kata mpaka sasa wananidai. Eh, yeah, basi nilikuwa nimekata tu. Nikajiuliza nitafanya nini? It was a total disappointment. Ilikuwa ni kuvunjika moyo kabisa. I was in town na nilikuwa town. Huko 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 mali nimetoka i was in town nilikuwa town sasa nikaanza kupiga mahesabu what shall i do mm-hmm. then i left there alafu nikatoka i went to another account i have nikaenda kwa account nyingine niko nayo nipo ngine niko na iko na so moja <laughs> now nikasema atriza i'm happy ika so moja kata nifikisha nyumba but there is something i wanted to do kuna kitu nilikuwa nataka kufanya oh, i remember i went and sat somewhere nilikumbuka niliona nikakaa chini mahali after sitting down baada ya kukaa chini i started asking god nikaanza kuuliza what shall i do now nitafanya nini sasa and then i said na nikasema let me go and check wacha niende nikaangalia maybe i'm going to get some money maybe somebody has sent me money umeshai kuwa ukifirisika mpaka unasema pengine mtu kimakosa amekutumia mhm Umesema fika to that point. Ha, umewahi fika hapo. It reached to me. Ikanifanyikia. Believe me or not. Niko aniamini ama ukae. 
mimi sijui kama ni wizi sijui kama mtasema ni wizi ama sio wizi mimi sijui mtaniziambia leo so when i went to i went to a night ya master sema ni bank gani maana wengi wanafanya kazi huko <laughs> so when i entered into that bank my brother nipoenda nikaingia kwenye hiyo atm tell me what i'm supposed to do now niambie nafaa kwa nipo nataka kwenda kuingisha atm kwa machine mm. i saw 10000 zikuwa zimejipanga hapo ni, nilipokuwa nikienda kuingiza mimi nikaona 10000 zimejipanga kama mtanihukumu shaulieni sasa kama nyinyi mtanijaji mimi <laughs> mtanihukumu shaulieni <laughs> mimi nilikuwa nimechomoka ningefanya nini jamani silichukua nikienda kujisaidia <laughs> zilikuwa hapo na ni ukweli wa maneno <laughs> sasa ningefanya nini <laughs> nikuwa... <laughs> <laughs> Sasa hiyo tutaita nini my brother? Si nisaidia tu na uhubiri. Hiyo what is that? Yeah. We don't know. Yeah. 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 Ni divine ni uteua. Divine appointment. Yeah. Ah. Mm. God change my disappointment. Ndio divine appointment. appointment. Paka appointment ya kuteua. Maana mimi sikufinya nikatoa ya mtu. <laughs> ah. Sikufinya nikatoa ya mtu. Sasa ningewacha niwaachie nani? <laughs> na imeka hapo ninaja and from my experience for the bankers you know this na kutokana na ujuzi wangu kama pesa ikikaa sana na uchukui kuna maseko ni yakai narudi si ndio yeah. haiwezi kaa hapo hakukua na muda lakini nipata pesa imekaa sasa nifanye nini <laughs> na nimekuwa nikiomba brother i want you anyway mtaenda kufikiria mtajua vile mtasema <laughs> hiyo ni yenye nimewaachia but god change my disappointment lakini akabadi, akabadilisha kuvunjika kwa mtu mmoja na ninakumbuka hata niingia kwa sini kakura kuku kwanza <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Nilikuwa nikashiba then I went home yeah. lakini sikwenda mikono mtupu ninunulia mama ka kitu. <laughs> This was a divine appointment my brother. Nilikuwa ni apa. For those people who say the days of man are over. Mimi wala hapo na kwamba things are not over. Ziisha mimi sema hazijaisha. Wewe ni sauli yako mimi najua Mungu anayesanyesha. Mhm kabisa. Have you ever had a story sorry for giving you so many <laughs> Najua hubiri kukutana na mambo mengi. Somebody was giving me a story whether it's true or not I don't know. Mungu alikuwa aniampatia hadithi. This brother we to pray for so long. Kwamba kuna mtu alikuwa ameomba muda mrefu. Huko ushako. Ah kule ushako. Asking God please. Kuomba Mungu, Mungu tafadhali. I can see you blessing other brothers and sisters. Mungu anakubariki wadogo na wadada. But as for me I'm so poor. Na mimi ni sarai tu sana nitafanya nini? So one day when he was walking around where siku moja alipokuwa akitembea tena shakara babu na kwa dini ya mama zake. Najua unajitia moyo lakini ndani hakuna yeah. kitu mm. sometimes nasikia na wambia unajichocha hata kama hakuna usijifanye hauna jifanye uko nayo usitake kuhurumiwa na watu sana mm-hmm. ah yeah. ah hauna funga tai kama mimi enda vizuri watu wafikia huo ni mdos lakini wakijua ndani hey. yeah. hata kupole pengine hauna but you are encouraging yourself in the lord ujitie nguvu katika yesu this man this story was given ah huyu mtu when he was walking around wakati alipokuwa akitembea kukapita avie kwa ikapita mbio sana shwap speeding very fast gari ikapita ilipokuwa ikienda mbio sana a saloon it was a saloon car ilikuwa ni gari ndogo then all of a sudden na muda tu that vehicle lost control huyo gari ka lose control ikagonga miti kaanguka upande na side mm-hmm. and all those guys who are there came out and ran away na wale watu wote walikuwa hapo wakapotea wakakimbia and the man was akashanga uh, see now what is it what is happening na huyu mtu akashangaa kauliza kuna fanyika nini he went there now because everybody had gone he went there and checked akaenda hapo kwa sababu watu wote walikuwa wamepotea akaenda hapo akapata nini kamufuko <laughs> Na kama umeishiwa sana ukiona kamfuko kwanza unaangalia nda. Hiyo ni kawaida msijifanye mnajua hii mambo. Mm. Kwanza aliangalia ndani kamfuko. But when he checked inside that car bag my brother. Kwa wakati alipoangalia kwenye huo mfuko. Red notes. Mm-hmm. notes. Zimepangwa vizuri sana. Zimepangika. Hadi kama watu walikuwa wameiba hawajaiba hajui. Mm-hmm. They disappeared completely and went. Walipotea kabisa na jamaa kwanza alishtuka akasema acha aende achukue cover. Sasa jamaa you know you have to take cover. Maana pengine ni wezi wanafukuzwa na polisi. Mm-hmm. Na unaweza pigwa risasi. So he went and took cover somewhere. Akaenda akachukua cover. Nyuma ya miti akakaa, akajificha. Lakini unajua hapo kuna kitu nimeona. Lakini hapo hapo hapo. He stayed and stayed for one hour. Mm-hmm. Nobody was coming. Akaka hapo risali moja hakuna mtu anakuja. He went and removed the bag. Akaenda akatoa ile bag. Akaelekea bag kwa mgoka mgomo mgongo wake akaenda kwa lehanga hapa. Hakuna mtu anamuuliza kwa njia. Akaenda tu mpaka kwa nyumba. Akafungua hela zimepangwa. Akashanga what will I do this? Somebody was telling us. Mungu alikuwa mtu alikuwa anatuambia. Brother ameokoka jamani. Tunamwambia saa zingine. Alikuwa amefanya nini? Alikuwa ameokoka kashindo hii pesa nikipeleka kwa polisi. Eh. Hakuna pesa iko na alama atini ya fulani. 
What shall I do? Akangojea sikie kuna mtu ameibua ma kuna kitu kimefanyika there is nothing. He stayed akasema and I'm telling you na nakwambia this is the way the, the preacher told us even ndivyo mhubiria from that day kutoka hiyo siku the life of that man maisha ya huyo mtu tumplika badilika kabisa umasikini kwa heri ah when we live in the hour comes wakati lipa na inafika it doesn't require so many years i jari ala it can take a cycle for the even that what is happening and you change for better maisha ya good and for good and for good na badilike kabisa is somebody ready for a divine appointment mtu ambaye ako appointment ya kitu ni mkono mwambie bwana nipe divine appointment naambia mungu nipe divine appointment it must not be money it can be anything sasa lazima ikuwe pesa naweza kuwa kitu kingine hallelujah hallelujah point number 2 i have to appeal i have 10 minutes to go home na dakika 10 za kwenda when your divine when your 11th hour comes wakati 11th hour inapokuja god will change your embarrassment mungu atabadilisha aibu ya into an embracing of miracle ah na ikaweza ku ni ku embrace baraka kukumbatia ya kukumbatia baraka it changes your embarrassment to an embracing of miracle ataweza kubadilisha huzuni yako hebu andika mark chapter 5 verse 25 to 34 mariko 5 to 34 paka 34 It talks about a woman with an issue of blood. Inaongea kuhusu mwanamke alikuwa na shida ya kuvunja ndamu. Remember what the Bible says. Yakumbuka vile Biblia inasema. This woman kwamba huyu mwanamke had for 12 years. Alikuwa ameomba miaka 10 na mimi. She had visited every doctor in Rome. Anaenda kwenye hospitali yote. And it was a very embarrassing sickness. Na ilikuwa ni ugonjwa ambao ulikuwa wa kushangaza sana. Akipita mahali brother ananuka. Mhm. No but what to associate with her. Hakuna mtu alikuwa anataka kujihusisha na yeye. She was thinking. Kwa sababu alikuwa ananuka. She suffered for 12 years. Alikuwa ame ana ugonjwa huo kwenye miaka miwili a ah, 12. But she knew one thing. Lakini alijua jambo moja. One day, siku moja. If I meet with Jesus Jesus. Wakati nikikutana na huyu Yesu. I know my problems will be over. Najua shida zangu zitaisha. To cut the story short. Kuweza kukata hiyo story short. When she was walking around. Ah wakati alikuwa anatembea tu. And she had people shouting and she was told Jesus was there. Kwa kuangalia kwamba Yesu wako hapo she decided to force herself akafikiria Akafi, apenye until she went and touched the ham, the garment mpaka akaenda akaguza aka, aka tu kipindo cha nguo the, the hem of the garment of jesus kipindo tu cha nguo ya yesu after touching na baada ya kuguza immediately wakati tu huo she was made whole akaweza kupona listen unto me nisikize it was an embarrassing of lifetime ulikuwa ni ani jambo la aibu aibu ya muda mrefu ya miaka yote but it took only one minute lakini ilichukua tu dakika moja after touching jesus alipoenda akaguza yesu the embarrassment was solved hayo aibu ikaisha it didn't require a lot of preachings hata haiku 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 hitaji ati a uh, preaching nyingi it required somebody ilihitaji tu to take a step aenda akachukua step and say na aseme i know where ninajua my embarrassment aibu yangu can come to an end inaweza ishia it is as touching jesus lazima ni kushika yesu you have been embarrassed in your life umeweza kuebishwa katika maisha I don't know but want to associate with you. I have been hearing of stories. Nimesikia hadithi. Wewe pengo lake huyu hatutaki rijazo na mwingine kama yeye mm-hmm. jambazi kama yeye hatutaki mm-hmm. an embarrassment of life lakini yeye amekufa but listen unto me there comes another embarrassment in life msikize kuna aibu zingine katika maisha even as you are walking hata unapotembea because of your situation kwa sababu ya hali zako no one to be associated with you kuna mtu anataka kuhusishwa na wewe do i have somebody here niko na mtu hapa even as you walk pengine hata unapotembea hata watu wakijaribu kukusalimia mm-hmm. utaka kusalimia mtu na kusema Yaani hataki kusema vizuri maana hataki itanishwe na wewe brother. Mhm. Let me tell you. Wacha nikwambie usishtuke. 
Jitie moyo katika Bwana. You will not be embarrassed forever. Hautaibishwa milele. You will be embarrassed today. Oh, hautakuwa umeaibisha leo. Can be given names by people. Unaweza pewa majina na watu because of your current situation. Sababu ya hali yako ya sasa. I want to tell you. Lakini acha nikwambie. If you can touch Jesus. Kenapo shika Yesu. If you can touch Jesus. Kenapo mguza Yesu. Your embarrassment will come to an end. Hebu yako inaisha. Remember that harlot woman. Kumbuka yule kahaba. She came to Jesus. Alikuja kwa Yesu. She knelt down. Akakuja kwa Yesu. She knelt down. Akapiga magoti. Washed the feet of Jesus with her hair. Akaweza kuosha miguu ya Yesu. She was crying. Alikuwa analia. People tried to stop her. Watu wanamnyamazisha. But she knew. Lakini alijua. My embarrassment has come to an end. Na kwamba aibu yangu imefika mwisho. Let me tell you. Acha nikwambie. In your moment of embarrassment. Wakati wako wa aibu, you don't need recognition from people. Wewe hata hauhitaji kujulikana na watu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If somebody is listening to me, mtu ananisikiza because your destiny kwa sababu hatima yako greater than your history. Ni kubwa kuliko hadithi yako ama ya yako. I'm going to what I said last time. I start anasikia nilikuwa tempted kurudi mahali nilikuwa la. You are embarrassed today. Uko na aibu leo. But your destiny lakini hatima yako is greater ni kubwa than your history. Shida historia yako. Nobody should judge you by the past. Hakuna mtu anafaa kukuhukumu kwa sababu ya aliyopita. Hata kama unajulikana wengi walikuwa mlevi kwenu. Mm. I want to tell you. When the 11th hour come. Masaya yako yanapofika. Na ukutane na Yesu. Your history. Historia yako no longer matters. Aitali. Oh, somebody once said. Mtu mmoja alisema, you cannot be a star. Hauwezi kuwa nyota without a scar. Kama hauna Let me let me let me repeat again. Yes. You cannot be a star. Hauwezi kuwa nyota without a scar. Bila akile ni kilema. Eh hey, ni kilema. Yes. Without a scar. Bila kilema. Hata ukiangalia wakimbiaji wote mm -hmm. na wachezaji mpira mm -hmm. hauwezi kosa alama. Ni kweli? Yeah. Ni kweli. Mm. And that's why I normally tell people and I said last uh, mm. some Sundays ago. Unaambia mm. niliwaambia Sunday nyingine. When you come to Jesus, unapokuja kwa Yesu, don't expect things to be so smooth. Usi expect that mambo yatakuwa You must be ready to fight. Na lazima upigane vita. And as you fight, na unapopigana vita, God gives you victory. Mungu anakupatia kushinda. In your moment of embarrassment, katika aibu yako, you go through many scars. Unapitia hata katika vilema vingi. Utatukanwa. <laughs> Utaitwa majina. Mm. Utawekwa majeraha. Mm. But in the middle of the scar lakini katika hapo tu karibu will make you to be a star Mungu ana kufanya ukaweze kuwa nyota siku moja waliokunyoshia kidore yeah. nasema kama nabii mdogo mm. waliokunyoshia kidore watatafuta uko wapi tukukumbatie haleluya 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 they look for you hata kutafuta because in your moment of scars kwa wakati wako wa vilema it will be changed itabadilika into a moment of stars ikuwa wakati wako wa nyota sasa hii wakati naisha na niko hapa how many points do i have to go i have six more points <laughs> five more points but i can't mention all of them write another point point nyingine ni in When God visits you at your 11th hour, Mungu anavyo anapo uh, kutembelea katika masaa yako ya 11th hour, just like I'm not going to explain, he changes your shame into fame. Ana uh, anabadilisha aibu yako inakuwa ni sifa. ni sifa. First Chronicles chapter number 4. Waamuzi mambo ya nyakati wa kwanza. Mambo ya nyakati sorry, wa kwanza 4 4 verse 9 to 10 I'm study wa 9 na 10 He talks about Jabez Inaongea kuhusu Jabez How how Jabez prayed and told God if only you can change my name Yule Jabez aliomba Mungu na akamwambia kama tu unaweza badilisha jina langu He had gone through a lot of shame Alikuwa anapitia aibu nyingi But he prayed to three things Lakini akaomba mambo matatu God may remember him Ya kwamba Mungu amkumbuke Change his name abadilisha jina langu and enlarge his boundaries Na kaweza kuweza kumuongezea And the Bible says Na Biblia inasema God honored his prayer Mungu akasikia maombi yake His shame na aibu yake came to an end Ikaisha And from that day toka hiyo siku Jabez ya Besi came the leader of his brothers akakuja yeye ndiye kiongozi wa adui wake somebody who was born in pain mtu ambaye alikuwa amezaliwa kwenye uchungu unajua mtu kuna mtu anaweza kuwa na uchungu mpaka mm -hmm. anasumbuka mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm sorry to say hata unakuta mpaka mtu anaitwa Masumbuko. Okay, I know Masumbuko is a name of some tribes. Lakini unapata na shida mpaka watu wakitaka kukujua wanakujua na shida zako. Mhm. Mm Have you ever experienced that? Unaweza ona hivyo. Yaani wewe umeshindwa. Mhm. Mm eh? Unielewa vizuri? Umeshindwa. Paka hata ukitembea unaonekana anga nishindwe tu. Na wewe sio pepo. Unaonekana tu nishindwe. 
But I want to tell you one thing. It will not last forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am trying to shorten because I have no time. Leo umeshindwa, leo umeaibika. Leo umeshindwa. But I am saying prophetically. Your eleventh hour is coming. And you are shame. Na aibu yako will be turned into fame. Itakuwa sifa. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Write another one. Andika nyingine. God will change your poverty. Mungu atabadilisha umaskini wako into divine provision katika uh, utajiri wa kiteua Genesis chapter number 45 mwanzo 45 verses 5 to 8 mstari wa 5 mpaka wa 8 it's a story of joseph ni hadithi ya uh, yosef how he raised from a poor person vile alitoka kwenye familia familia ambayo ilikuwa maskini how he went he was imprisoned vile akaweza kwenda katika jela but from the prison lakini kutoka kwenye jela he became the prime minister akakuwa prime minister waziri mkuu and he was behind the vision na yeye ndiye alikuwa nyuma katika ile alikuwa nyuma ya ile vision of providing food to the entire ikoza kupeana chakula katika Egypt yote and finally na mwisho he rescued his brothers akaweza kuokoa hata wadugu zake even if you are here today hata kama uko hapa siku ya leo i know i'm speaking to somebody na njua ninaongea na mtu hata kwenye nyumbani nobody I want to see you mm-hmm. because of your current situation. Sometimes I kwa kwa sababu ya hali ambayo uko nayo. When your eleven hour comes. Wakati wako utakapofika. That person you are in. Ile jela ambayo uko ndani yake. That poverty that you are in. Wewe umaskini ambao uko ndani yake. God will transform it. Mungu atabadilisha. You become a provider. Na utakuwa yeye ndiye unaye. When your eleven hour comes. Wakati wako utakapofika. May somebody pray a prayer, a special prayer today. Wacha tuombe aombe la a special leo. And tell God. Naambia Mungu. May your eleven hour. Ya kwamba wacha wakati wako. Come upon my life kwaweza kufika katika maisha ya mimi ya kwamba nikawe a divine provider kama mimi ndiye mtu ambaye ana katika jina la Yesu Kristo another point point nyingine god will change your setbacks into a comeback mungu atabadilisha ni kama maguchungu wako uchungu wako ikuwe ni kurejea urejesho ikuwe ni urejesho wako god will change your setbacks into a comeback mungu atarejesha kilio chako let me say one point i want you to remember acha niambie point moja nataka mkumbuke you will never get credentials in your area of comfort zone sorry you will never get in a credential ama sifa ama kuitumisha ama kushangiliwa in your area of comfort zone hata ipata sifa katika hali hiyo yako ya kupumzika ama kutulia you will never get in a credit hautawahi pata credit yoyote in your area yoyote in your area of comfort katika area yako ama hiyo hali yako ya kupumzika but you will get them yako, lakini utaweza kupata when you are coming back wakati unarudi hallelujah hallelujah you will never get in a credit hautaweza kupata faida yoyote when you are studying very hard wakati tu umeweza kusimama juu sana when you are working very hard wakati unafanya kazi kwa bidii sana but you will get your credit lakini utaipata when you become wealthy lakini wakati utakuwa tajiri right now you are struggling wakati una 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 bishana you are going through a lot of setbacks unapitia katika mambo mengi ya kukurudisha nyuma so painful na ni chungu sana but i want to tell you lakini nataka kukwambia when you live in the hour wakati wako utakapofika hebu fanya namna hii fanya hivi sema when my live in the hour comes wakati wangu utakapofika my setbacks kurudishwa nyuma kwangu will become itaweza kuwa my comeback kurejeshwa tena wanao enda wakiwa na lia mm-hmm. kuna siku watarudi wakicheka yes. kwa maana setback haziko hapo kuishi milele yeah. Reason and me wish I had time to expound on that point. Jesus ni naishi ni kwa watu wa kuelezea hapo ni ah ni nguvu sana. But your current setbacks. Lakini ya kwamba hali yako ya kukurudisha sasa. Let them not put you down. Let's go za kukurudisha chini. Persist. Endelea kungengana. Persist. Ngengana. When you come back. Wakati utakaporejea, you come back with victory. Utarejea na nguvu. People don't know you now. Watu hawakujui sasa hivi. But wait until. Lakini gojea. When you are arise. Wakati utaweza kuinuka. And shine. Na ukaweza kuinga. Uh, that is when. Huyo ndio wakati. Every body. Mtu yeye we run. Watakimbia. Very fast. Haraka sana. To be associated with you. Unaweza kuitanishwa nawe. And I normally even challenge brothers and sisters. Na mimi hata huambia brothers na sisters eni hiyo sio yenyu nitaka kusema acha niseme juu ni kanisa lote <laughs> don't <laughs> usiangalie kwa nje mambo jamani mm-hmm. maana hali ya mtu ya sasa hatakuwa hivyo kesho yes bwana yesu asifiwe amen vijana mpo hali ya kijana mwenzako sasa hivi mm-hmm. haitakuwa hivyo kesho yes kama bwana amesema 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 hiyo sitaeleza zaidi 
kama tungekuwa na nyinyi tungeelezana vizuri mm-hmm. maana when that person is in the process ako kwenye kipindi cha setbacks wakati wewe mtu ako kwenye kipindi cha kumuruka hawezi kuendeka eh? there is an example i could have given but i don't want to give kuna mfano ningependa lakini sita pia but Like when you are coming back wakati narudi nyuma when everybody wakati kila mtu anaporejea atakuwa anasema ningelijua ata kila mtu anasema that person aishi ningejua you are carrying setbacks wakati wako ama hali yako ya kukurudisha nyuma does not determine your tomorrow haijalishi kesho yako itakuwaaje you can come back with victory unaweza rejea kwa nguvu and the last point na point ya mwisho When your hour comes wakati wakati wako unafika God will change your sickness your sins into a song Mungu atabadilisha uh, ugonjwa wako dhambi zako zote dhambi zako zote iwe ni wimbo mpya ikuwe ni wimbo mpya Right Mark chapter number 2 Mariko Bili, Bili verses 1 to 12. Moja mpaka 12. It talks about the paralytic man. Inaongea kuhusu mtu ambaye alikuwa amelemaa upande mmoja. I also don't have time to expound so much about it. Hawa kuelezea hiyo hadithi vizuri. But I want to tell you one thing. Lakini nataka kuambia kitu moja. When your 11th hour comes. Wakati wakati wako unapofika. God will also change your failure into victory. Mungu atabadilisha kuwa akuweza kushindwa kwako mpaka kuwa kwa ushindi. And he will change your sins. Na atabadilisha dhambi zako into a new song. Ikuwe ni wimbo mpya. Listen na mtu mie saifi Now. Everybody look unto me here. Kila mtu niangalie hapa. There is a last revelation I want to give unto you. Kuna ufunuo mwisho nataka kukupatia hapa. Because I told you one day. Sababu wakati nilikwambia siku moja, those people waka aha watu who never saw Jesus physically. Ambao hawakuweza kumuona Yesu kwa macho yao. No matter two things under revelation. Huwa anafanya vitu kwa ufunuo. Hebu sikiliza hapa. Mhm. Biblia inasema hivi kama brother. This is what the Bible says. That When a sinner repents wakati mwenye dhambi anapokiri ana, ana, ana what does the bible says biblia inasema nini the bible says biblia inasema when a sinner repents wakati mwenye dhambi anakiri dhambi zake the whole heaven bingu yote sit down we assume the heaven was seated down tunaasimu ya kwamba bingu ilikuwa imekaa chini but when a sinner repents lakini wakati mwenye dhambi ametubu the bible says biblia inasema the whole heaven Bingu yote they celebrate him. Watu wanashangilia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The greatest miracle. Ah, ah, ile muujiza mkubwa sana. And the greatest visitation. Na hata kutembelewa kule kwa ukuu sana. Is the visitation of forgiveness of sin. Kutembelewa kwa kusamehewa dhambi zako. Kitu wa hili is not something that can make angels to celebrate. Kuponywa sio kitu kinaweza fanya malaika wakaanza kushangilia. Umeshaisikia Biblia inasema ati kuna mtu alipona maraka wakashangilia. Yesu akasimama akashangilia. Imeandikwa hivyo? Hapana. Eh? Tuaongea kabisa kibibiria hakuna. Yeah. Hata ukipona bingu haziwezi kufurahi, mm. si watu wanakadhirika, hawezi kusimama na kushangilia. Yeah. Hata mtu akivuvuka lakini maandiko inasema wakati mwenye dhambi ameokoka bingu zote zinashangilia. Yes. Ah. Can you tell salvation? Ambia ni baako. Is a miracle that can raise the heavens kwa sana ambayo inaweza fanya binguni to stand on your behalf inaweza kusimama kwa ajili yako can you imagine my brother hebu ifikiria ndugu yangu fikiria ndugu na dada mm. wewe msichana nafla nekesa yeah. kama uanjio atie no hebu fikiria yesu mm-hmm. akiwa amekiti kwenye kiti cha enzi brother kaa mm. chini yesu amekiti pale kwenye kiti yes. aone kama ameokoka Amuke aseme haleluya for the first time nasimamia kamao. Oh, what a great joy. Hiyo ni the heaven blizzard because simama kwa sababu yako. Hebu fikiria kila mtu ambaye ameokoka hapa kuna siku Yesu alisimama. Yes. Mheshimiwa. For the first time the whole heaven said siku moja mheshimiwa. Ya kwanza mheshimiwa. 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 Why? Kwa nini? Because of accepting Jesus. Sababu ya kuamini Yesu Kristo. When you get an a visitation, wakati unapotembelewa in your area of sins, wakati wako katika dhambi za all oh, the angels in heaven. Malaika wote mbinguni, they stand because of you. Simama juu yako na ito mheshimiwa. Let's stand up with Jesus. Sasa kusimama katika jina la Yesu. Simameni katika jina la Yesu. Father, we want to worship you. Baba tunataka kuabudu. We want to bless you. Nataka kukubariki. We want to give you the glory. Nataka kukupa utukufu wote. Thank you, Father. Asante Yesu. I did have enough time to finish those points. Sikuwa na wakati wa kumaliza hizo points zote. But I thank God I've got